Hello everybody and welcome back to Art a la carte. In this video we're going to be asking ourselves the big question, does this thing really work? Bonus points if you know which YouTuber I just imitated. I found this at my local Dollar Tree and as I'm always looking for fun little craft or art kits in the inexpensive range, I thought this would be a fun one to try out. So this is the marbling kit. It comes with six colors and very little instructions. So let's see if this works. Step one, remove the product. I have six different colors. I have kind of a red, yellow, a blue that looks like it has already been leaking out. Green, purple, my favorite color, and a white. But I can tell already we're gonna need the messy mats. The instructions say we also need a bowl to, hey look, there I am. Hello everybody! I have a paper towel and some pieces of paper that I'm going to attempt to dye. Because that's what it looks like they did on their little sample thing. I'm also probably going to need something to stir it around with. Let me look here. I also have this needle tool to help smoosh the paint together. And some water. No, I did not go out and buy smart water. This is just my reusable, refillable thing of water. Just sink water. So I'm going to start with purple now and just drip in some drops. Yeah, it's, it's not... Oh my goodness, it's like swimming. Like a little tadpole. So if you lay the paint on top it stays. If you drop it in it tends to want to sink. I've always wanted to try this like really like with real art supplies so I'm curious to see how this works with cheap art supplies. All right, now that I got my colors in there, I'm gonna take this in very carefully, just swirl it a little bit. Ooh, this is so satisfying. I don't care if the product doesn't work, just that alone is fun. So now I have my piece of paper, I'm just using some cardstock, and I'm going to very carefully set that right in there for no more than four minutes. And then we will peel it up and see what we got. All right, so it's really thick, but it is cool looking. Well, let us put this over on the messy mat. We'll let that dry. So let's try to smear it out a little bit. Maybe I have just too much paint. Alright, let's try this piece of paper now. Alright, now we will carefully lift this one out. And that one turned out much better, definitely. It's still a little gloppy, but not as bad. All right, I want to add some more red to this. And maybe some more purple. I feel just playing with this paint in here is, is the fun part. All right, now I really wanna research this product and find out 
what actual art supplies do you use? What kind of paint is it supposed to be? And try this for real because this, this is fun. So this is a type of video that I could just watch people play with swirling paint for like ever. This would be the funnest thing. Me. There is a little bit of a smell, so I would definitely recommend ventilation. And yellow. You know me, I'm all about the colors. I can't just choose one. They're all my friends. Now we'll get this a little swirly swirly. It's just really a thick paint. I don't, when I see it, I, I never think of it being a thick paint. For our last card. There we go. All right, so we're gonna let these all dry. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna take my cup and just dip it in. And there we go, it's kind of this, it's kind of cool again. Okay, so I'm starting to run out of paint, so you can see about how much product there is in these tubes. So definitely if you find this and you want to do this yourself, um, you can make quite a few small little projects. Um, I think this would be a great craft for kids. Because it says if you do this on fabric, don't wash it, I'm pretty sure these are uh, washable paints. So. If you're worried about the mess, I think it should clean up, especially if you got a messy mat. But I would have a good ventilation in your room. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a smell. All right, now I have this really cool rock. I was gonna paint something on it, but I still am. I'm just gonna dip paint it. Let's just see what it looks like. Look at that. Now that's painting a rock. You definitely need some sealant for it because I'm pretty sure it would rinse off in the rain if you take it outside. But how cool is that? That's a cool rock. So in the end, these turned out pretty cool. I think as they dried, the colors faded a little bit, but you know, that could be just because it was dollar art supplies. But I think for a cheap art supplies, this was super, this was a fun experience. As for the rock, as you can see, the paint just kind of disappeared on it. Definitely not, you can see it a little bit, but nothing to write home about. And the cup that I dipped, all the paint just fell off of it, so, hmm. I'm going to give this one the rating of four paintbrushes out of five. 
for this swirly whirly art project. If you know anything about marbling, paint dipping, and things like that, let us know all of your tricks and tips and information that you have in the comment section below. If you like this type of video and like to see more cheap art supply videos, let us know by giving this video a big thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss it in any other videos. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. So God bless you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Maybe this video, or that one. One of those two are great. Bye.